Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies 7 here, and welcome back. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Alrighty, we have some more uh, tasks to do today. So, a quick summary here Old Scroll House, blah blah blah, we know all about that. Testing the Orbital Bite with George and Angie, and finding someone's uh, secret admirers, apparently. But before doing that, I have some uh, points to use here for bonding, so let's go ahead and put them to use. Um, for this instance, I want to go ahead and bond with, uh, with Fee. Elisa and Eusis. And with Fee being right over there in the gardening shop, she'll be my first one. Let's see, she should be... There she is, I see her. Uniform jumps out from anywhere. Oh, okay, that sounds fun. And tough too, but <laughs> there you go. Yeah, may as well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Fee. Yeah, she would just uh, rather sleep than do, well, anything, really. Ooh, what you want to uh, grow? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, they say they do better if you give them lots of love. That is true, actually. Yeah, they especially are more so in the, the other Trails games there. That's uh, kind of harsh, but I mean, true. Yeah, Yeaters are not to be trifled with. Man, you're thinking. Better doing that than just going all uh, willy-nilly. So let's see what we're growing then, shall we? I'm curious. I'm not big on flowers and all that myself. I mean, I like them and all, they're pretty and all that stuff, but I mean, I don't have any in my apartment or whatever. Oh, you're welcome. Happy to be of service. Yeah, nice try of trying to have Reen do them for you, but there you go. Already linked level 2 already. Nice. Alright, takes care of that. I believe... Okay, uses would be on the academy field over there, as I thought. Um, then Laura... She was... Uh, no, um, no, Elisa. She's over there in the uh, main building there. Yay for fast travel! Ah, oh, there's uses. I would imagine taking care of horses would be a lot of work. Totally worth it, though, because horses are awesome. Yeah, go for it. Why not? <laughs> I'm happy to help. That's what friends are for, right? This one I don't think I've done before either in my other playthroughs. <laughs> well, scathing. My arm's itchy. Not now, arm. Ooh, even more scathing. <laughs> Man, the riding, riding club is savage. Time to... Can I help you? Almost gave me a boop. Yeah, that's a long distance there, actually. Like, extremely long distance. So how will they have go gone about shipping the horse from there to all the way down here to the academy? <laughs> that's my uh, horse... Whatever sound horses do. Not neigh, but the other one. Isn't like a... Starts with a W, I, I think. Is it is it's not a Winnie? No, that's like the that's the high pitched one, I think. I'm not sure what it is, 
But you, you know, the... <laughs> I should stop doing that. Yeah, it sure feels like it. Look, he's even smiling, too. He's a real boy! <laughs> Clean me, humans! Says the horse, because horses talk. Because obviously they fucking talk, come on. Marty takes care of that. Alrighty, and last but not least, Elisa. So she was over here, main building, second floor, next door to Gaius. Speaking of Gaius, actually, I wonder what the whole thing was about with the principal the other day. He was called in to talk to him after a bit. Um, so let's see. He would be... The Elliot should be in here? No, that's cooking. I knew that. I knew that. Um, here we go. This would be the, uh, well, the music room. Again, it... Like, art room. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh, there's Gaius. Oh, sounds like a plan. What about the whole thing with the principal the other day? Is that not important? Yeah, okay, well, hey, then, no mind, then. Hi there, um, Mary. I can only imagine how much fun that would be grading, grading exams. I mean, there's not that many kids here, so it wouldn't be quite so bad, but, uh, even still. Oh, that's weird. Why? Oh. That explains why it's open. Oh? Oh, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, I may as well talk to her. Maybe you can help. Or at least I'll lend a helpful ear all the same. Yeah, go for it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Um, hey, hey, we're kind of stuck in here now. You'd think he would have thought to check to see if people were in here, like, you know, beforehand. Though granted, we're not here very often anyway, actually. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, arguing about Sharon? That seems unlike Sharon, actually, to not think about your feelings. When... That is true. You kind of dislike her presence, but not her person, in a way. Oh, sorry, you heard that that was, that was the controller bumping the mouthpiece there. My bad. Where did you come from? Also, how did she know we were even here? Sharon strikes once again. It happens a lot. So <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> she just plays innocent. She's so sweet and dainty and delicate, but only if, if only you guys knew. <laughs> yeah, close to a level. She's on level 2 already. Wow. Okay. Just didn't, didn't really need the link XP for her, granted, but oh well. would undo any lot for your sake. I mean, Reen is right here. They may as well be. I mean, seriously. Okay, so we're done with that. So what I need to do now is go over uh, back to the Academy field, I'm pretty sure, for our first student council task there. Let's see, that would be, I believe, back over here behind the shed. Yeah, there we go. You have green quest mark. I see you. Why you're hiding back over here, I don't know, but never mind that. Okay. 
You remind me of Oliver from the other Trails games. Like, a lot. Like, a hopeless romantic sort of thing. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. You're too kind. Should I bow for you, Master? Would that pleaseth you? No, oh, yep, I'm free. Unfortunately so. Please elaborate, dear Master. You can tell I'm being, you know... I'm being... Something. Uh, who's Sar Sarifa? 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 I, I don't know. Getting meddled in by meddlesome teenagers and their taunting dog. Which, by the way, no one ever fucking questions in Scooby-Doo at all. Like, they're talking to some guy, and they'll be like, and they'll say, like, Oh, hey, an ape man, we should go find him. Scooby's like, Rah, let's go find him. And the other guy's like, Oh, you can find the ape man in the cave. Never mind the talking dog, because that's not important at all or anything. Anyway, back to the game I'm playing, that's important. With naught but a nom de plume. Is, is that a thing? I think I think it's a flower, actually. So apparently a three people um, sent them love letters here. So she's playing hard to get? And she sent cookies. That sounds nice. I, I like cookies. Good old chocolate chip is totally fine with me. That's all I need. I'll take them crispy. I'll take them soft and chewy. Either or is fine with me. Okay, a first hint is that's the first year. Hmm, you don't say. Oh, I've never heard of that. Um, can't say I have. <laughs> I don't like you. Oh. Yeah, that sounds uh, perfect for that. But where do they even get them, I wonder? Oh. Well, that answers that. Yeah, may as well. Oh yeah, that would be that would be nice to know. By the way, the Grand Maiden. Interesting. Okay, sounds good to me. All right, so we have a three people in all to talk to here. So before anything else, I need to go back to the flower shop there. So let's go over to somewhere. Um, oh, pawn shop actually, that'll work. It's close by. Also, Crow's here. Why, I don't know. Yeah, I would hope he passed. <laughs> yeah, that would have helped quite a bit. Also, that's, you know, kind of cheating. Never mind that. Speaking of uh, Old Man Mitz here... Oh, that's right, yeah, she won't be back until, I think, tonight, actually, they said last episode there. Anything worth buying here, by the way? Let's see, uh, Zerum powder, ground baits, oh, wait, any new quartz here or anything? Or accessories here, that's fine, too. Um, nothing too much new, doesn't look like here. No Sepeth mass, anything, uh, curio-wise here. Um, oh, sandwich recipe. White beast flesh, hearty powder. Uh, okay, I, don't, I don't care about that. Bye. I'm gonna leave now. Anyway, back to the uh, task at hand here. Let's go over to the uh, gardening shop over here. Ah, oh, here we go. Talk to Jane. There we go. So, about this whole Grand Rose thing, I uh, don't see them anywhere around here on the uh, display back there. I don't blame you. Oh, okay, well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, 
this is getting... We're going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole at this point. Let's see. Beryl from class 3, Vivi from class 4, and Rosine from class 5. Interesting. Okay, so now we have some names here, at least. So as to where to find them, I'll just tell you guys here anyway. Um, Rosine is in uh, Trista Chapel, or near the chapel. Or uh, Rosine, Rosine, whatever. It's spelled R-O-S-I-N-E. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, oh, there she is. So I just see a word here as a uh, as a maid slash nun on her free day. Oh, okay. Oh, that sounds lovely. But uh, that's a uh, one down at least there. Okay, up next we have Beryl, who's in the Occult Research Club, Student Union, second floor building. So let's go there for right now. I'm not sure why I can't teleport to the second floor of the building. I mean, it's right there. Although it is also it's not really it's separate its own like screen there where it's like the main building has its own like separate floors and all that. Let's see so the occult club uh there it is. And there she be. Creepy in here as always. Why are your eyes freaky? I I don't know. Oh crap. Um looking at something here real quick. Last one okay I wanted to see um, who was up next, just so I know where to go. In a ritual... Well, I don't want to know. <laughs> I... Rain, better... To not ask. It, I, I'm a leave now, bye. You're terrifying. So from here, okay, over to the gymnasium. I'll just uh, warp there, actually, and go around outside to the flower garden over there. It'll be easier that way. Let's see, so yeah, this would be uh, Vivi up next over here. Not the black mage, mind you, just a normal student here, which sucks. Oh well. Uh, oh, there she is. Nice pink hair. Yeah, don't freak out, but I'm on a, I'm, I'm on a love quest for a person. Oh, well that works then. But why would a why would you need a rose for a prank? Yeah, may as well. Okay, let's go ahead and walk back over to the field there it is. And back to his hideout. Still over here? Yep he is. Yeah, so like um no, I kind of didn't. Um, that was the first thing I did. Ouch. It's kind of harsh. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Um, who in the world? Hi? Your, um, why are your lips enormous? I'll leave it at that. Wait, you're the Grand Maiden? That would not have been my first guess, or my second, or third, or seventeenth. Margarita Dresden, apparently. Oh, sort of family grows them. That's cool. Ah, it's all coming together now. I, I don't think he was going to say that, but it's nice that you think so. I think she's a little obsessed. As in, very obsessed. So if I were you, Vincent, I would just run far, far, far away.
she, um, she's stubborn in her love. If you want to even call it love, it's more of an of a of an of an of, 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 of an obsession. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, she... She did. That's a definite yes. What do you want me to do? I mean, I have a sword. I did just use that. It's violent, but it, it would work. Oh? Oh, hey, it's Sarifa. She reminds me of the maid, uh, Lila, from the other Trails games there with, um... Mayor Maybell in um, in Bowes. Serifa to the rescue, apparently. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. I, I don't think you want to do that. I, I, I wouldn't take those if I were you. Ooh, an accessory. Neat, I'll take that. Uh, one thing to note, by the way, speaking of accessories, you'll eventually want to have things that, that, that prevent sleep. They'll be helpful for the old school house again. Once we go over there again, I should say. So... This is awkward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave. I, I don't think he wants to... He, n no. Never mind. We'll just leave it be. Okay, and after that adventure, that's all done. So anyway, accessories here. Um, let's see. Um, I should have... That pre prevents confuse. I, I didn't buy more stuff later, whatever. Or even if I don't, whatever. I not a huge deal really. I'll, I'll live, obviously. Um, oh yeah, orbital bite is next. Let's go over to the uh, engineering room for that, or building, whatever. It's right over here. Let's see where is the orbital bite? It's not in there apparently, or over here. Must be inside then if they're testing out testing it. Um, there, there it is. Now, for this one, um, let me do a quick peaky peach. Okay, that's all pretty easy. Why do you want to know that? They're elsewhere. But I mean, if you have a dreary old building to bring that up, I mean, it's the engineering building. You kind of expect it to be kind of like dusty and kind of outdated. Not really outdated, but kind of. Well, I can't think of the, think of the word. But yeah, ne never mind that. Not a big deal. <laughs> Excuse you. you. You can't prove that. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Well, yep, I'm totally free. I've never been on a motorcycle before, so... Wow, that's intense. Oh, uh, that would make sense. So it's not really like a one-size-fits-all kind of bike. <laughs> yeah, like, please don't crash or anything. Hmm, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, better asking him than anyone else who has uh, rode it before. Alrighty, off to the highway we go. One of the few times we're ever actually out here at all. Because, yeah, we're outside of uh, Trista, by the way. I'm not sure if we're on the West Highway or the East Highway here, um, but oh well. I am pretty sure we actually did to go on these highways in Cold Steel, too. I think I recall seeing them in some videos for it recently, or a while back, whatever. Oh, 
Oh gee, thanks, Dad. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, funnily enough, yeah, he does. Never thought I'd hear a comparison between riding a bike and riding a horse, but, well, here we are. So, questions. How does this work, and will I die? Let's see, getting, okay, getting moving, shifting gears, and coming to a stop. All very important things, mind you. Okay, so, uh, what's going on? Let's see, how to get started. Well, good idea there, genius. Okay. Oh, the bite's clutch. Okay, so what about that? Shift in, shift in the first gear, open the throttle, and then slowly and steadily release the clutch. Keep that one in mind. Release slowly and steadily. Okay. Then switching gears. Okay, now at that point, quickly and firmly to pull the clutch in. And then... Once you shift, just so release the clutch slowly and steadily, just like you did, you started moving there. And stopping, which obviously, yes. Okay, release the throttle and apply the brakes to both wheels front and back. Do you find different amounts of pressure? Strongly on the front and lightly to the back. Okay. It's, yeah, it's a lot to take in, but I'll just tell you as we go along which one to pick, actually. Well, you'll see once we start doing it there. All right, let's go for it. Oh man, that sounds cool. Okay, so, so this one would be, yeah, release it slowly and steadily. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm sure the entire class will be super, super jealous when you tell them tell them about this. Alrighty, so let's see how he's doing so far. Also, this is one extremely long ass highway to be able to ride the bike this like, straight for this long. Okay, switching gears. Alright, so roll off the throttle, pull in the clutch, change gears, and then release. So now this one would be quickly, then release it slowly there. Damn, that thing's really, really fast. That could be useful for uh, traveling. Unfortunately, though, we don't really get to use the, the orbital bike like, outside of like the quests here and all that. We do, however, get to use it in Cold Steel, too. I'll tell you guys that much. Let's see. So, yeah, this one was strong at the front, light in the back. So, pretty much all three choices here are the second option. To keep that, make it easier to remember as a whole. Damn, that went pretty well overall. Yeah, I can only imagine how excited he would be. I'd be like, I mean, I'd be nervous too, just like he was. But like, once I got going, I'd be like, oh my god, this is fucking awesome. Ugh, stretch. Ugh. There we go. Never mind my growling noises when I stretch. <laughs> uh, but it feels good to do though, anyway. Wow, such bike, much orbital, so fast, wow. Yeah, I would definitely say so. Be cool if we could uh, race sometime there, that'd be awesome. They build one more bike and then have Angie and Reen race after a while.
not sure what he meant by maybe too much. You can't have too much fun riding a bike. That'd be awesome. Oh, wait, you know Elise's mom? Oh, that's good to know, actually. Oh, that made sense, then. Well, that'd be cool if they did. I could see them being extremely useful. Yeah, I would hope those things come with like a, a manual to teach people how to ride them if they're mass-produced. Or at least tell people how they work for one thing, at the bare minimum. Ooh, Dragon Vein Quartz, nice. I believe that one increases the amount of sympathy you did after battles. So that wouldn't be terrible to equip. Did I say would or wouldn't? It would not be terrible to equip that. You should use it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say there, by and large. Alrighty, um, unfortunately though, I don't really have a s that's equipment, I'm stupid. Um, here we go. Um, so let's see, a Dragon Vein, a oh, EP recovers on the field, that's neat. Enemies drop more Sepeth as well, alrighty. Um, let's see. Um, uh, why do I have Soul Blur still? Oh, for the plus three speed, I suppose. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so we're done here for right now. I think what I will do... I'll buy some more stuff off camera here for the sleep prevention stuff there. And then I'll start tackling the old schoolhouse once again next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. This has been Mr. Moves 87 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.